Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick little response to a comment that was posted to my YouTube page, which was about some videos that I made about two years ago. It says, hey, I'm a fan of your videos. Can you do a video game cover using GIMP? That would be really helpful. Thank you. So what he's referring to is he's referring to these two videos that I made about two years ago about making your own custom video game covers inside of Adobe Photoshop. And I said in those videos that you don't have to use Photoshop. You can use free alternatives to Photoshop, such as GIMP right down here, which is a free alternative to Adobe Photoshop that you can use on Windows, OS X, and Linux. So it's absolutely free. I'll link a download in the video's description if I can remember to do so. But I'm going to show you how to make a very simple video game cover inside of GIMP. So we're going to need a couple things first. We're going to need to gather some information and some media images to use. So the first thing you're going to need to do is measure the outside of your game case to get the exact dimensions that you want to use in order to make so your game case will fit into the game case. So I covered that in this video right here. I'm not going to go over that again. I will link this as well as this video in the description. I encourage you guys to go back and watch those anyway. And then you are also going to need some different images that you want to use. So I want to make an Xbox game case. We are going to be using an Xbox 360 cover template because as you can see here, um, maybe this isn't the best spot to use. As you can see right here, Xbox 360 cover we're going to need one of those. Now you can make your own, but uh, since we're using GIMP and I have basically no idea how to use GIMP, we're going to use this template right here. Likewise, I'm going to link the link for a PS3 one right here. And if you guys need the different ratings, such as these ratings right here, you can head on to esrb.org, right click a rating and save image as. And I already have the rated T one saved right here because we're going to make our game rated T. And also, I'm going to be using a background image, just a plain background image from this link right here. And oh, oh look, I made this one. You can download this. I'll link this in the description too. This is just the background that I'm going to be using. So let's give you guys a little example of what we're going to be doing. We are going to be making this right here. It is a very simple game case cover because I'm not going to show you how to make a specific look or specific design. I'm just going to show you the basics of getting everything set up and then you guys can let your own creativity flow. And that and the reason for that is because I basically have no idea how to use GIMP. There, I said it. I'm making a tutorial and I have no idea how to use GIMP. I just downloaded it and I played around with it and I was able to come up with this image, but I wasn't able to come up with anything fancy because I've used Photoshop for years and then I turned on GIMP and it was just completely alien to me. So I'm going to show you guys the best that I can with GIMP because that it was requested. So let us go over to GIMP right here and we will get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to file, create a new document, and then here where the image size is, we're going to make that the size of our image that we measured that you guys can go and check in this tutorial right here. I recommend that you rec that you measure your game case anyway, even though you're using the same one as me, maybe. I uh, just measure yours anyway for safety purposes, just so we don't screw anything up majorly. But I'm going to make my width 5 inches and my height 7.125 inches as you can see right here inches because that is the measurements that I got for my Xbox 360 game case so I'm going to just open this up maybe scale it to like 150 so that way we can get a better look at what we're doing and now I am going to open up my background image which is right here and I'm going to select everything with the keyboard shortcut control and a that's the one thing that I hate about GIMP right now is that the keyboard shortcuts are way different because I'm on a Mac and I'm used to using the command key but we have to use the control key so I'm going to copy this by using control and C and then I'm going to go over here control and V to paste it and now as you can see it's really really big but we're going to resize it to fit the exact dimensions of this document because this background doesn't have anything going on in it it's just a stock so we don't need to worry about distorting it by scaling it so we're going to go to image scale image I'm going to scale it just to the size of the composition click scale and should eventually scale but I think I had to select it see Ugh. I'm really bad at GIMP, so we're going to just use the scale tool over here. There we go. 
So five inches here and then 7.125. So we actually had to use the scale tool. And now it's scaling and we can grab the move tool over here and we can move it around and about eh, until we get it to fit perfectly, which I'm having a hard time doing. But there we go, we have our background imaged. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to import that Xbox 360 cover. So I'm gonna go once again to file, open, desktop, and grab my Xbox 360 cover that we downloaded. Here we go, and I'm going to do the same. Control A to select, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then we're gonna do it all over again. Grab the scale tool, eh, and then we're gonna change it to the dimensions that we measured for the composition. That's good. And now let's just move it. So move you up there is good. And so I'm going to deselect everything by using Control, Shift, and A. Ah, there we go. And so now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this rated M logo over here because I want the rated T logo. So I'm going to need to import the rated T logo. So we're going to go once again. File, open, desktop, rated T image. And we're going to do basically the same thing. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat right down there. And I think I'm going to need to scale that down a little bit. So uh, I'm going to actually like manually scale it. That's fine. I'm not trying to be any fancy or whatnot. And we can just leave it there. We can put the T logo over there. But what I want to do is I want to hide that. And we could go ahead and select and delete that. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to cover it up right there. But feel free to select that and delete that when you're using that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my logo in the center. So once again, rinse and repeat, we're gonna find my logo, which I have in here somewhere. Well, let's use the white one, shall we? And that will load up to this right here. Now this is a huge, gigantic logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to image, auto crop the image which will crop it to like that so that we don't have to worry about all of the excess and now i'm going to go to scale image and we're on pixels this time i'm just going to use 300 pixels by 300 pixels scale there we go and what do you know we're going to copy and paste it in there whoop de doo and we're going to move it to about the center and pleh, that's good good enough and so now we can add any drop shadow to that. So to add in the drop shadow, we're going to go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Click OK. And oh, well, I guess I screwed something up with sending it to a different layer. So let's just, uh, yeah, that's good. Let's try that one more time. And if this doesn't work, then I really suck at GIMP. There we go. That makes everything work a lot better. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add in my text. So I'm gonna create one last layer. Uh, let's call it text. And let's grab the text tool over here. And let's just make a big text box. And now I'll start typing. So I'm gonna type in Nick W324 the game. And we're gonna increase the size by a lot. And uh, there we go. Now feel free to custom. Whoop, shit. Feel free to customize this any way that you guys, any way that you guys see fit. Now you guys can obviously tell right now that I am horrible with GIMP. I'm really really not that good with GIMP, but I attempted to make a video. So basically this is all you need to do. You need to get your media, you need to organize it together, and then you need to customize it the way that you see fit. So 
Once again, I apologize that I'm so bad at GIMP, but that is essentially the very basics upon how to do it. Now, if you want to take some of the ideas that I did from my Photoshop tutorial and incorporate them using GIMP, I will link both of these videos in the description. They're a little old, they're from two years ago, but they should still be able to help you out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you a lot for watching. I would like to say thank you for your comment. Username right here. I don't even want to attempt to to screw up pronunciation, but uh, I hope this helped. Sorry if my sucking at GIMP was too bad, but I'm going to shut up and leave now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.